Hey everyone, Noah Zerby here. In this video, we're going to briefly compare classical liberalism and classical realism as approaches to understanding international relations. We explore the theories themselves in greater detail in separate videos, so if you haven't watched those yet, it's probably a better place to start. But if you're ready, let's go ahead and get going. Remember that liberalism and realism are the two oldest schools of thought in international relations, each stretching back into classical works of political theory. They're also two of the mainstream approaches to IR and dominated the analysis of global politics, particularly in the United States, until the early 1980s. That said, they differ in a number of important respects. Let's start with the question of human nature. Here, liberals assert that human beings are fundamentally good and altruistic, or at least malleable. While realists contend that human beings are fundamentally self-interested and perhaps even evil. Both liberals and realists agree that war is the most important or central problem of international relations, but while liberals emphasize the promotion of efforts to establish and maintain peace, realists reject such efforts as wishful thinking and instead emphasize the importance of national security. Both realists and liberals see the state as the primary actor in global politics, but realists view them primarily as a unitary or a single coherent actor in the pursuit of the national interest, while liberals tend to emphasize the importance of domestic politics and individual agents in determining foreign policy. For liberals, actors are motivated by the possibility of cooperation and mutual assistance, but for realists it's all about power, national security, and self-interest. For liberals, it's possible for states to take longer-term perspectives on the national interest and to make sacrifices in one area for advances in another. It's also possible to think about a community or collective interests for groups of states. Realists reject this, asserting that only individual interests of the state matter. As a result, their focus tends to be on more immediate survival of the state. In terms of the nature of international relations, liberals tend to emphasize the role of cooperation and community in international politics, arguing that conflict is in fact the exception to state interactions. Realists, on the other hand, emphasize the anarchic nature of the international system and assert that this can drive state behavior. From the liberal perspective, conflict, or war, is an irrational breakdown of the international system. It's the exception, not the norm, for a functioning international system. Realists, by contract, maintain that war is the result of rational decisions made by the state and necessitated by the nature of the international system. Not surprisingly, then, liberals tend to have a fairly optimistic outlook on the international system. They believe it's possible to construct international institutions and rules that will help prevent conflict and promote cooperation between states. Realists, on the other hand, tend to have a more pessimistic outlook on international politics. They argue that the best we can hope for is stability, as states act to expand their own power and protect their national interests. So which most accurately describes the international system? That point's been debated for almost 100 years, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.